this short video we're going to look at how to connect to a display that has either a DMP 8060 or 8065 player. We're going to look at how to set a test pattern on the display for testing reasons or how to set a static IP address to make the make the display compatible with the customer's network. Now the first utility that I've got up here is called Dactronics Display Finder. This is just a simple utility to make that initial connection with the player so that you can gain a few pieces of valuable information as well as easily access the configuration utility. First thing I want to do is select the adapter that I'm connected to the player with from my computer. So either your wireless adapter or your LAN connection on your computer. For me I'm going to go ahead and select my LAN connection and then click Find Displays. The Electronics Display Finder will now begin discovering any displays or players that I have on the same network as my computer. And we can see here that it did return a DMP8060 player that I'm connected to. Out of manufacturing, the DMP8060s and 8065s will have a default name assigned to them. They'll be configured for the display's dimensions, have its default DHCP name, which is the standard way that these players ship from the factory. And here I can see the IP address that the network has assigned to the player. You'll notice that this information is a hyperlink, and by clicking on that I can easily access the configuration utility. Once at the configuration utility, simply enter the password for the player. DMP 8060s and 8065s do ship with a default password on them, but it can be changed to something else that a user might want instead. Once you logged in, you'll be at this home screen here, and this is where you can set a test pattern on the display to test and make sure that all the modules are, are showing the messages and content correctly. To do that, simply go to the test patterns and then just simply click the test pattern that you would prefer to show on the display. As always, once you start a test pattern, make sure you stop it once your testing is complete. To set a static IP address on the player, click on the configuration tab at the top. Here you can see the default DHCP name assigned to it from manufacturing. But if I click on use the following IP address, this allows me to enter a static IP that the customer has given and would like programmed onto the player. Once you've entered that information in, you would want to click the button in the bottom left that says send configuration. And this will program that IP address onto the player. Once your testing is complete and you've made all the changes that you need to, simply click the red X to log out of the configuration utility.